Hello, everyone. This is Big Dog. I'm up here hanging out at my warehouse still. Uh, so, I just recently went to a toy show in Delaware uh, called the Toy Dome. And uh, some of these are my findings from there. Stuff down there is from the Newcastle Farmer's Market. So, when I got to the show... I like setting up at this show. I didn't get a chance to this year. I uh, just out of my control, but uh, it is what it is. I got the next one for sure. So when I first walked into the show, one of the first things I seen is this motorcycle. I just thought it was cool. I figured I could put some kind of figure on it, make it look cool. And then I did some research and I realized that this is one of the newer motorcycles from the He-Man series. And, uh, so I just thought it was cool. Like I said, I figured somebody riding it would be cool. So I got that. Then I walked around a little bit and I bumped into this kid. I think his name's Josh. And, uh, he's always does me good. Last year I was there. I wound up buying a Rancor from him. On, on the cheap and then sold it at toy con so it's kind of good uh so he had these figures on there and this little g2 beachcomber chrome version the chrome green so this was in good shape the rover is a little tweaked but i think he'd warm it up and set it back so he had that he had this Lambo from a uh, Puzzler or GoBot. So, it's kind of cool. I wanted this because I, I, got a, I got a Puzzler already complete. And if I'm not mistaken, I think my Lambo has a hole in it right here. So, when I saw this, I wanted to take this and put it in, in my Puzzler and then take the other one out. But I'm pretty sure my Lambo has got a hole right there. There. But really good shape. And he also had this sector puppet. And I, all my big puppets like this are gone. I got rid of them. I think most of them sold out. I might have one left. But this does have the glove on it. It's in very, very good shape. Uh, so we worked out a deal for all three pieces. And I wound up buying this. So... Nice, nice piece. So I walked around. There's a lot of people there I know, so it's it's like a challenge to walk around there and not to talk to somebody, but I, I like seeing people like I like bumping into my friends. So I uh, found this guy who had a $2 bin. So this is Stacks. It's a GoBot, which I got a few of these. I got one. I think I got four of them. Uh, this is the fourth one. A little bit of rust right down in there. But not too bad of shape. Super, super tight. I got one that's real loose. This thing is tight as can be. Uh, really, really good shape. So, like I said, GoBot stacks. Pretty good. So, every year, my buddy Will comes through. He's always there. And I always buy a lot of his G.I. Joes because he does really good on G.I. Joes and he works you know, a good deal. So he had these G.I. Joes, there's 16 of them. And we wound up working at a price and I bought them. So who do I have here? So this is a Grunt. Or is it Grant? Grunt or Grant? I don't know what it says. But he's super, super cool. There's a stalker. And these things are super clean. They're tight. The joints are tight. Really, really good. There's Maverick. There's Targate. So cool, and they're so so clean. 
things are in like really, really good shape. Downtown. Backstop. Headhunters. Like I said, they are really, really clean. This is General Flag. Now, I've had two flags. 2021, I had two flags. I didn't have the, the captain or general, so it's kind of neat. It's another one. There's a Duke. There's a Mutt. Wild Bill. He used to have his vehicle. I don't know if I still do or not. Gang Hill, or Gung Hill, I mean. Sorry for the glare. I didn't feel like taking them out of the bags. It's the Night Creeper. It's Blocker. So that's going to do it for the actual show pickups at the toy, the toy dome show in Delaware. Uh, like I said, I didn't buy a lot. I wasn't even there long. My leg was acting up a little bit, so I wanted to get out of there. Uh, then I went down to Newcastle Farmer's Market. And I walked around, and I come to this one table, and all this stuff was on it. And I kind of knew the guy that was selling it. So he worked me a good deal and I bought it. So let's kind of get into what I got here real quick. Now this is a uh, Master Universe model lock. Uh, has 22 body parts in here. That's what he looks like. And you can make all these different combinations, bodies, all kind of stuff. Uh, this box does have a rip in it, where it got ripped when I guess got opened. But it is 100% complete in the box with the instructions and the comic book. So this is 100% complete, all 22 pieces, plus two guns, plus the comic book plus the instructions so 100% complete so that was a good pickup this one is almost complete it's missing one leg with the purple on it now this it comes with six legs so that one of those purple legs right there is what I'm missing and then uh has everything else in here. Both guns are in here. Uh, it is missing the comic book and it's missing the instructions in this box. Uh, this box isn't too bad of shape, except they ripped off the actual picture side of it here. Uh, back in the day, Sears sold it for $4. Crazy, crazy. But, uh, so this, I think I have a leg. 
if I don't have the leg with the purple on it, because I need one leg with the purple. Because there's one with green, there's one that don't have nothing on it, it's just red, and the one with purple. I need the one with purple. And then, as far as the figure goes, this will be complete. And uh, what's neat about these boxes are unpunched, too, both of them. Uh, and then I, I want to see if I can find a comic book and an instruction to complete this one as well. But as of right now, it's almost complete. So in my box of stuff, when I got it, these three little crossbows are in there. I don't know who they go to. And I just, I got a bunch of He-Man parts and pieces and weapons. I'm going to start going through them here real soon. Matter of fact, these don't go back to the house. Because I, uh, have my parts bin is there. And this is Hordak, I think, but I don't know what it is. So, we work out the deal when I got, you know, this deal. He gave me a price. I counter-offered a price. He said, no, I got to stick to it. And I said, okay, I'll stick to that price. Throw that in. He goes, all right, I'll throw that in. Here. So, I did very well in this lot. So, here's Strider. Super clean. All the stickers in great shape. Really, really clean. He's got both guns and his tail. He is missing his little headdress piece. Uh, but all in all, really, really nice. Now, here's the... I don't know what this one's called. Night Stalker or something. Now, his leg keeps popping out. It does go in. It's not broken. It's just loose and it pops out. He got both his guns and his tail. I don't think he comes with a headdress. I think it's just the way he is. Uh, but really, really nice. And like I said, it's his leg. His leg just pops right back in. And it doesn't turn once it's in there anyway, so he sits fine. And then this guy, anyway. Both his guns. All the stickers are in great, great condition. Uh, Center from 1983, right? So, that's going to do it on well, my pickups from the toy show and uh, Newcastle, Delaware uh, Farmer's Market. So, rate, subscribe, hit that like button to the next one. Big dogs out. Everybody stay safe.